What's up guys, welcome to Free So we are back with more Villain Saga. Gardar arrived on the farm and he was quickly seized and captured by Snake and the rest of the retainers. And Arnhe was in a state of disarray. And she told Anar, Thorfinn, and unknowns to her, the old master about her past, how she and Gardar were married, they had a kill together. And when he and the rest of the men went off to seize power and gain supplies, their enemy actually came in and they pillaged their village, robbed them and separated the woman, the children, both most likely to be slaves. And that's how she ended up here. And she wanted to protect the new baby that she's uh, currently carrying, which is Ketzel's son. And that adds a whole wrench into the situation on the farm. As she was talking to the old master, feeling conflicted about you know, her feelings towards Gardark because she was going out to tend to his wounds. The old master gave his perspective on the thought of just waiting until something passes by. And he gave us his backstory on how he pretty much uh, was afraid, afraid of losing power. And he pretty much gave a Kettle's girlfriend and the situation went uh, south anyway, regardless. So he told her to just go ahead and basically do what you can, even if it's going to leave behind the scar rather than waiting behind and getting that scar anyway. So we're going to see what happens with the punishment and everything. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into episode 15. Oh, our need. I'm totally empathetic to your situation, our need. Please. Just let us see you, man. Uh, wow. You, you knew that was the answer they was going to give, bro. I understand their, their, their viewpoint of it. Man. Yeah, bro. You can even you can take watch as she sends it to the wounds, bro. Dog. He's gonna cave. <laughs> nah, bro. You just going out your way, bro. You you going against his orders, but I'm with it. Mm. Go ahead. This what the years have done to the both of them, man. Of course, he killed one of their. He killed one of their uh, men. What if she brought something to cut the roast, bro? Wow. Oh, God. Is she, is she seriously going to try to escape with him? Or, or, or help him escape, bro? Damn. He should apologize, man. He made the wrong decision. Unfortunately, we don't we don't even know the state of how he we don't know if he's alive or dead. Pain, bruh. Oh my gosh, bro. This is this is extremely tough to watch, man. She can't do that, bro. She's got a she got another kid to protect, man. He should. The VA is killing it right now, man. 
Wow, see exactly. Y'all gonna leave the post knowing that this dude is trying to escape. Oh, this dude about to get fired, bro. He about to flub out the job that he wasn't even supposed to do. I feel like she cut the ropes, bro. Wow. Oh my. He bit his neck? So he wasn't tied. Okay, so she ain't gonna tie him. At the very least. A chunk, bro. A whole chunk of his neck is gone, bro. Wow, bro. Oh my God. Wow. Worst case scenario, bro. You, I'm sorry, Arnie. You got you got to get away from the situation. This is bad, bro. Dog. She cut the rope, dog. Oh, uh, Snake is gonna kill this dude, bro. He's gonna be out to kill this dude. He's on foot, bro. It's looking like it's a, a, a lost case for Gardar. Yep. You knew that I was coming for Snake, bro. At the end of the day, bro, that's his man. That's true. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bro, you ain't have a nightmare. That's how I know you wouldn't sleep, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's a good friend, bro. He's just looking out for you. Unfortunately, R and he has caused trouble for our own self. Mm. Wrong for freedom to be taken away by violence. Mm -hmm. Dorothy knows too much about that statement. Yeah. It's for, the, for the most part, aren't he? He was just regular. And she might hate him because he's the type of person that took away her son in the past. Mm. It is a fantastic dream. If only it could be done, man. In reality, too. We don't know if he's a slave or not. We don't even know where he is. And as long as agendas exist, you know, there's going to be war. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It just makes sense. The more you fight, the more valor and honor that you're gonna receive. He was once one of them, he then he turned over the leaf. Wow. Rather be an outcast than burdened by any more of them. Talk about the people that have passed, that he killed. Yep. Wow, look at the imagery right now, bro. 
Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> you felt so much anger, bro. And then you turned it into the same thing that happened to your dad. Take them someplace. Is he gonna take them to villain? Let them rest in villain? He needs to grow more wheat than what he traveled, bro. He needs to be as a sir. He needs to be a service to the to people instead of to combat all the people that he killed. Where people don't need source. Sound like your dad. Sounding like your pops. Just their hands. But not to fight, but to protect and build and grow. You definitely don't want to go there, man. Dog. All this is setting is setting it up, bro. Just say it, Dorothy. Let's travel to Villain. But there is a place on the other side of the sea, man. Yep. Finally. Perfect that he's getting to this idea when Leaf is coming his way. Yes, sir. It's a place called Villain, man. You can build the village. If you go there, you can build the village, bro. Yep. But it's worth it. It's worth the risk. Facts. That, that hope and that, that spirit enough, bro. It'll push you. It'll motivate you just like you were motivated to uh, finish this force. Oh, they looking for him here. They think they're here. Thorfinn is trying to realize soon what's going on. Yep. And we're, it's gonna shock Adar to hear that Arn Heed is with him. Snake dog. You're looking real tough right now, bro. At this point, bro, <laughs> like, I feel like Arn Heed will be fine. Just off the shrimp that, you know, Ketzel favors her and he's, she's carrying his, his child. I feel like she'll be fine, but. Gardner is pretty much done at this point. Man, what a decision by Arn He, man, to actually go and flee away with Gardar. But to a certain degree, was in a state of panic and confusion and kind of understandable. So she did actually go to tend to the wounds. And one of the soldiers was nice enough to let her be able to do so after Snake had said no and left because he didn't really want to take her home, first of all, because they didn't have any horses and. You know, he couldn't really say no to her. He was flustered and all that. So he let her do it. You can see that Gardar is still in his crazed state. Even when Arnheen the poster, he uh, he actually told her that he was sorry. He apologized for leaving the village for going against her wishes and the loss of Halsey, which he doesn't even know yet. He still is delusional with the idea of going home and returning as a family and Arnheen it's, it's super tough on her, on he, because she's conflicted, man. You can see that the voice actor did a great job with her cries and her state of pain, and then things just took a turn for the worse. Because while the guard was coming over to tell on he that her time was up, guard got up and he bit a whole chunk of his neck off. The guy, due to blood loss, he fell over, he died. He dropped his sword, and guard convinced 
or he to uh, go ahead and cut his ropes tied and, and he's killed a number of other retainers in Snake's crew and they're on the run together and, and it's tough man because Gardar put her in a state of panic he put her in a dangerous situation He's she's conflicted in two ways because first of all it looks like it could look like Arnheed actually did it herself uh, freed, freed him killed the man that just makes it such a blurry situation because you have her relationship with Kettle and how she's carrying his child and all that contradicting with you know Snake's ideology because he would think that she's killed one of his men and that she needs to be punished for doing so and then you also have the second way because or he is she she hasn't decided concretely what path she wants to go down whether she wants to try you know regain some of the semblance of the family that she's lost whereas she wants to stay on the on the farm and actually build a new family protect her new child and carry on from there then over on Thorfinn's Anar side they're talking about you know the situation and then uh Anar brought up the thought that Thorfinn has said to him about ending war and just creating lasting peace any war and slaves and suffering and all that and he asked him if he really thought you know coming from his perspective that he could it could be solved and Thorfinn you know he gave his reasons as to why war and slaves go on in that particular time because of the Norse view of things of valor and honor how war is a thing that they look forward to and slaves are you know the the valor and the pillages of war and how that cycle continues to go on and how those who who don't abide by those rules are views as cowards but Thorfinn doesn't want to do so because he's tired of being haunted by those that he's killed and he wants to create a place where he could fully bury those ghosts and where he can live in peace where there won't have to be any fighting which finally he remembered the saying that Leaf would tell him about Vinland, the tales that he would tell him how there really is a place and that's where that's where I think ultimately is going to head with Thorfinn and probably Anar, maybe even Arhi, depending on how this situation turns out going to Vinland together and establishing that village there it is super important that Thorfinn actually remembered that at the time because Leaf is coming there so they can they can devise a plan to to go there it's a lot of risk involved you need a lot of people but at the same time it's worth it for Thorfinn and Einar to achieve what they want but then they got the bad news due to the other retainers searching that uh Gardar has escaped Thorfinn thought of it immediately and now Einar is questioning what about Arn he what's her state where she's at it's gonna be interesting to see how they react to do it what their action is gonna be and ultimately how this whole thing is gets solved out because Snake is on a mission Gardar has killed a number of his guys. He wants Gardar dead. And based on what Thorfinn and Einar talked about, it seems like they won't want a fight to occur. So it, was, it might be a little bit of a conflict there, but we're just gonna have to see next week what happens. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. With that, I'm going to freeze. Hope you guys have a great day and night. Peace.